guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, my horses are getting body work done. I wanted to show you guys the difference because Aragon and Tarek, vastly different. Complete polar opposites, actually. So the first thing that the body worker said was that he's got a tight neck. And she was just talking about, you know, it's probably something that's been there for a while. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder why that is. I mean, I have no idea why he could have a sore neck. None at all. <laughs> anyway, so one thing about Aragon is that he loves people. He loves being touched. He loves connecting. So the difference between him and Tarek, because Tarek is very standoffish, only trusts people that he really knows. It took him so long to even just have someone else other than me touch him. So the difference and see how responsive Aragon is versus Tarek, it's just very interesting. This is like probably like two minutes in and Aragon is already yawning. He's already licking and chewing. You can tell he's really leaning into it. He's really like communicating how he feels. He's not keeping a bottle inside. I really wish I knew more about Aragon's past because it seems like he was very well socialized with horses and humans from a young age. Because if a horse is not learnt to socialize with other horses, if it's not brought up in an environment where it is able to socialize, it's able to connect, it's able to learn these things, then it's going to really struggle for the rest of his life. And because Aragon is so good at communicating both with people and with horses, I don't think he's ever had a bad experience with humans ever in his life. And you can really tell. You can really, really tell. He is so trusting and just so open as a horse. So this is the first time they've had body work done. And so it was interesting to see like where there was soreness and not. Aragon's not in work at the moment. Um, so, well, he wasn't when this was done. And... He, the only issue he had was a bit of a tight neck, um, obvious, for obvious reasons. But you can tell, look how soft his eyes are. His eyes are blinking. There's no tenting. Sometimes his eyes are kind of like half closed. You can tell by his facial expressions that he's really enjoying it. He's really, really enjoying the massage. He knows that it feels good. And he's quite happy to communicate that. And one thing about Aragon is that he likes to reciprocate in a social way. So the whole time that the bodywork was working on him, he kept trying to initiate contact and mutual grooming, which I think is such a cool thing to see because she's a stranger. Um, but he kept trying to, you know, mutually groom her. And I knew what he was doing, but I didn't want him to do that because a lot of people get a bit weird about horses, kind of like mouthing them. So I tried to just like discourage him from turning around and trying to connect with the body worker and so as a result he kept asking to connect with me so when he does that he um sort of like nuzzles my hand with his um mouth and he really just wants to like sort of just mouth my hand and it's always really gentle and sometimes he'll even start using his teeth to groom my palm and I just hold my palm open like quite wide and I just kind of push against him and he's never nipped me or anything like that he's just you can feel it when he does it is he's actually mutually grooming so that just shows that he really sees he really has a good social connection with humans which i think is fundamental for a horse to have like if i was to raise a horse from a foal that's the number one thing that i would want them to learn first is that hey you can connect with humans because what that's going to do it's going to initiate that social bonding that horses and humans naturally have. And that's why humans and horses get along so well because we're both mammals, we're both very social animals. And a lot of the times I think in the horse world, I see quite a lot where horses are punished for trying to connect. And so you get a horse that just knows that a human's not gonna connect with them. So the horse knows that the human, what the human says it has to do, you know, becomes very obedient, but the, you're lacking the connection there. You really are if you do not let your horse connect with you. So you can see him trying to connect with the body worker, um, but obviously she's trying to do her job. So she's saying no, because if you start, if you start letting him connect, oh my goodness, there's no stopping him. There's no stopping him until he has completed the process. He just wants to go and go and mouth and muzzle and, and kiss and lick and just, and he'll start doing really big yawns as well, because it's a way when you feel that social bonding, it's your nervous system is going to relax because social bonding means safety. So here he loves having his head scratched. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to initiate someone to scratch his face. <laughs> so here you can see some more licking, which stimulates him to then start yawning, which is perfect because I look at how relaxed and soft his eye looks. And then he immediately comes back and he asks again. He asks for my hands. He asks for that connection again. And he just does this the whole time. Even the body worker was amazed at how responsive he was. And I think it's just because I always encourage it. I always encourage him 
his social connection, I always encourage him to be expressive. I always encourage him to communicate. And you can really see that that makes such a difference when even when someone else is interacting with your horse. So here we are, some more mouthing, some more yawning. And uh, he just loves it. He's just absolutely loving this. So he's next feeling a little bit more um, relaxed now, but you can see he's still got a little bit of pain there. And he's communicating that with her, which is just so cool. So shortly you're gonna see the clip of Tarek because he went second. And it's very interesting to see the difference. And Tarek is very wary of strangers. He's a lot better now, but he used to be really, really wary. So this is the first time I've ever had like a stranger work on him that isn't the vet or the farrier. So as you can see, look at his facial expression. He's very unsure to start with. He's got the tenting above the eye. He's got the ear turned towards her. His mouth is quite tight. He's going, I don't know who you are. I don't know why you're touching me. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with it. So that's to me, that is what his body is communicating, which is so opposite to Aragon because Aragon was just like, oh my God, hi friend. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, let me connect with you. And then this is something I found very fascinating is he kept grabbing the rope and mouthing it like this, which is not something that he normally does. I mean, he's done it a few times in his life. But this was so unusual for him to do. And I think it definitely has something to do with helping him let go of some of that tension. Because some horses really need that oral stimulation, I guess you could say, in order to relax a bit and let go of tension. So, you know, you can see he keeps asking for it and then he holds it and he mouths it. And you can see his eyes are blinking a lot more. He's not moving away from the body worker as much. So in a way, whatever it is that's happening with him is the rope is helping him get there and I find it so interesting and I see a lot of horses especially on TikTok that have like those oral fixations like Prince the horse who has his little teddy and I really wonder what link it has to do with tension and almost like it's kind of like stimming for horses because the tongue is connected to the vagus nerve so I wonder if it's got something to do with that I hope one day there's a little bit more research about it and we pay more attention to how horses tend to deal with stress and deal with tension a lot more. So after he does this too, he really starts to relax into it. So whatever the rope did, it really helped him get past whatever mental barrier he had to relaxing. And you can tell he's really starting to enjoy it a lot more. His eyes are a lot softer. Um, his ears aren't looking as wary um, that he, they were at the start. And look, he's still asking for the rope. Again, I don't know why, maybe we'll never know why, but what I can sort of ascertain is that it's helping him in some sort of way. And I find it very, very fascinating. This is him towards the end of the session. You can tell he is a lot more relaxed. Look at his eyes, they're blinking a lot more. There's no more of that hard stare because when a horse is stressed, it's not gonna be blinking. It's gonna be staring because it's trying to get as much information as possible. So a horse that has a hard stare is an indication of stress and tension. I noticed that he particularly enjoyed the head massaging, which I found very interesting because I don't do a lot of touching of his head. And um, look, his nostrils, look how flared they are. Again, I don't know why. It's just these things that we can just look at and we can observe. And after that, he did look and chew. So maybe the flared nostrils was an indication that he was about to look and chew. Who knows? But I do enjoy watching how much he seemed to enjoy it by the end. Like, look at this. Look at that, look how much more relaxed he looks. And he's about to lick and chew now, as you can see. Um, that face that he did before that, that's a pretty clear indication he's like processing something or he's relaxing, he's shifting states because he does it quite a lot and then straight after he'll lick and chew. Um, but again, you can see the flared nostrils, very interesting. It's just all interesting and all we can do is observe. So anyway, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like this and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and leave a comment, it really helps increase my videos. I'll see you guys next time.